Hello everybody, PJ Anderson. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, February 21st, 2016. Our discussion is going to be related to teachers and teaching. This is found 118 times in 118 Bible verses. In Psalms 119, 104, And since your rules can give me wisdom and understanding, no wonder I hate false teaching. Proverbs 19.27, stop listening to teaching that contradicts what you know is right. In Matthew, beware of false teachers who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are wolves and will tear you apart. In Mark 12.38, here are some of the other things he taught them at this time. Beware of teachers of religion, for they love to wear the robes of the rich and scholarly and to have everyone bow to them as they walk through the markets. John 17, 17. Make them pure and holy through teaching them your words of truth. In Acts twenty twenty nine, I know full well that after I leave you, false teachers like Vicious wolves will appear among you, not sparing the flock. Romans 6.17 Thank God that thou, that though you once chose to be slaves of sin, now you have obeyed with all your hearts the teaching to which God has commit, committed you. Romans 16.17 so, Such teachers are not working for our Lord Jesus Christ, but only want to gain for themselves. They are good speakers, and simple-minded people are often fooled by them. Galatians 4.17 These false teachers who are anxious to win your favor are not doing it for your good. What they are trying to do is shut you off from me so that you will pay more attention to them. Colossians 1.28 So everywhere we go, we talk about Christ to all who will listen, warning them and teaching them as well as we know how. We want to be able to present each one of God's perfect because of what Christ has done for each of them. 2 Timothy 3.13 In fact, evil men and false teachers will become for each sorry, will be will become worse and worse deceiving many they themselves having been deceived. So beware of these false teachers and be sure that what is being taught is, con- is not contrary to what is right and that can be evaluated through understanding and read the Bible. Don't listen to wrong teaching. Listen to pure and holy teaching of truth only. Thank you, everyone, and have a blessed Sunday. Today, a day of worship. God bless.